Wish you could experience Vision OS, but you've got a Quest 3? Don't worry, I've got you covered. This app is called the Spatial app. It's available for download for $7.99 on the Meta Store. It's currently in beta at the moment, but works great. Let me show you how. Uh, if we just get the menu up, as you can see, uh, there's all your favourite apps. It mirrors the look of Vision OS absolute fantastically uh, there's browser there's obviously spotify twitch youtube tiktok instagram uh, all your favorites here uh, there's apple tv prime video you can do a bit of shopping on amazon uh youtube music hbo max disney plus you can even reply to your whatsapp on here telegram we put apple music uh, you can even use some chat GPT. Uh, there's Gemini as well if you've got that. Google Photos and there's actually also uh, Apple Photos in here as well. So you can view your Apple Photos uh, from your cloud drive. There's iCloud, Gmail, you can respond to emails, receive emails, be bit of notes, some reminders, everything in here. The basically Vision OS offers you. Uh, this app also offers you. It's, it's brilliant. So there is also a widget section, guys. If we click on this, uh, as you can see, there's a few coming soon like weather. I presume this is battery life, uh, this might be alerts, uh, sort of like brightness and volume and sticky notes and stuff. But right now, we've got clock, timer, stopwatch and calculator. And uh, as you see, if we just press that, we can, uh, we've just got a calculator there. So that's it for the widget section. If we head back into the apps, uh, as we all know, spatial computing is all about having multiple screens open at the same time. Everything you need opened whilst you can interact with your environment your real world environment around you so uh, let's just say we open the browser right now click on the browser there uh, it's worth noting you can move these around uh, by interacting with this little bar at the bottom here i know in vision os you can actually just grab the screens and you can move the screens around now that is coming to the spatial app it's currently in, on the roadmap for development, so it will be here soon. But unfortunately, right now, you have to interact with these little bars uh, at the bottom. It's easy enough, and uh, it'll just move about enough. You can resize the screens as well. Uh, as you can see here, uh, they go quite big. Uh, you just interact with the side part again. Uh, you can use hand tracking. I prefer to use the controllers, if I'm being honest with you. It just feels more responsive. Uh, but like I said, you can use the hand tracking, uh, as we see here, to... Uh, interact with the screens and uh, move them about but i just feel the controllers get a bit more stability hand tracking can be a little bit buggy on that right now again uh, it's getting developed more in the future uh, it's on the roadmap for development so it will come soon so as you can see we've got a browser open let's just leave that open there get the menu back up let's open a little bit of instagram uh here we can just resize instagram to be the size it should be let's put that over here as you can see, uh, just scroll down a bit, and uh, let's get some TikTok on the go as well. Uh, I've yet to log in a lot of these apps, I've not logged in them yet. Yeah, so there's TikTok opened, got Instagram opened, got a browser opened. Uh, let's get a bit of Discord opened as well. Uh, we'll move that over to the side here. Uh, once Discord's opened, we can, let's see, what else, what, what else could we have open back Spotify? We got a bit of Spotify on the go. Uh, you can see all my my, P, my DMs there, folks. Let's let's not look at them. Um, yeah, let's get a bit of Spotify opened as well. Uh, like I said, we'll turn this down a wee bit because this will this will actually be super loud and you won't actually even be able to, to hear me speak. But yeah, a bit of tenacious D there. You, you actually cannot beat a bit of tenacious D video games. Amazing. Uh, as you can hear it come through, right? I'm going to turn up a wee bit so you can hear it. Right, we'll pause that because YouTube will obviously copyright this video. If I don't, so yeah, we'll pause that. We can have Spotify open here, we've got the browser open here, we've got our TikTok here, Instagram here, we've got our Discord there, what else can we get opened? Uh, but, a, but a Twitter, you know, we can just open basically anything we want, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, anything you need whilst still being able to interact with your real world environment uh, say you're, I don't know, cleaning up or something or I don't know, whatever you, you can have all these screens opened there's no limit to the amount of screens you can have opened, opened and uh, you can just move them wherever you need to move them if they're in your way, like say here there was something I need to interact with here uh, I can just move the screen over here and uh, just put it this side and there we go it's, it's amazing, the world of spatial computing uh, it's fantastic, it's, it's all in this app, it's all mirrored from Vision OS, and it's great, 
so there is something cool I want to show you if you're using something like uh, Apple TV or Prime Video uh, or YouTube. I'll show you this now. We'll just open YouTube up here. Uh, make the screen a wee bit bigger because we're going to just be using this app by itself. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll head to one of my videos uh, just so I know there's no copyright content in there. So if you click on the bar here uh, and you click, I'm pretty sure it's Y. There we go, it is. Or you just click on your... Your, uh, your hand here, I'll just show you if the hand tracking comes up. It might not come up because I'm holding the controllers. Yeah, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hang with the controllers. Uh, let me put these controllers down for two seconds. Oh, there's a, the boundary opens up. Uh, we'll just wait till that goes away. Uh, as you can see, the hand tracking should come on in two seconds. There we go. So as you can see, you can actually just interact here with your hand. Uh, and you can also interact with the keyboard. So the keyboard with this one here, it's obviously up just now already. Uh, we we'll just click on this box, and uh, if we just bring this back a little bit, uh, we can actually just touch uh, the buttons, and it's pretty responsive. As you can see there, I'm press enter to search. And then we can just close this out. Uh, we'll just head to my channel. Right, so we're back on the controllers. Uh, just because it's easier. I just find it easier. So, say we went to my latest video, okay? Uh, we better set off motion here, guys. You know how it goes. We're just going to turn the volume, like, way down. Because it's super loud right now and you won't be able to hear me. So, as you can see here, we've just got the old uh, bells and whistles of YouTube. Uh, we can make this full screen. So... Let's type, tap on this, goes full screen, we're in HD mode here, and as you can see here, just right at the top, it says enter cinema mode, so as you can see my surrounding is, is quite bright, uh, we can play the video, we can watch it here, but if we, if we press enter cinema mode, look at this, basically uh, it darkens your surroundings and puts a, a backlight behind the screen. Uh, which makes it even better uh, to watch like YouTube videos and stuff. So we're just going to mute this just in case there is any copyrighted content. But as you can see, it's a huge screen and you can just sit and watch whatever in cinema mode. It's brilliant. As you can see, if I take cinema mode off, uh, how much more brighter it goes compared to when cinema mode is on. Uh, so yeah, that's great. I think that's a great feature. As you can see get here guys, there is a section for remote desktop. Uh, this is currently in beta development or alpha development, I'm pretty sure. So it is pretty new. There is better apps for remote desktop uh, computing right now. Uh, this will ramp up development though. Uh, it says on the roadmap that they're really going to work on this part. So this will get better. I've yet to try it. I've seen it in other videos. I've yet to try this. But again, I think it's quite buggy right now, so uh, there is better remote desktop apps out there, which I'll, I'll do a wee video on. And that's it for the special app, folks. Basically, Vision OS, the Quest 3, for seven ninety nine. It's fantastic. Like I said, the app is in early development and will only get better with time. Uh, there is a Discord that you can join that the devs have. It outlines your roadmap. You can also put in bug issues uh, and also sort of recommendations for what could be added to that, but what could be refined. The great thing about this app, it really shows the potential that Meta has since opening their software is open source. Uh, there's going to be a lot more apps like this. There'll be more developers coming in now uh, because essentially with Meta opening the, the Meta software to other manufacturers, it's going to become, I believe anyway, it will become the dominant software uh, in the VR market. So I believe that apps like this can only get better. Uh, I don't know about you, I'm a big VR nerd. Uh, and when Vision OS came out, I was kind of dazzled by how it looked. It looked great, and I wish I could have had it on my Quest 3. And um, with this app, you basically can. Uh, like I said, it is an early development, so it will only get better. Uh, but right now, it, it pretty much fits the bill. If you're maybe watching this video, and you don't actually own a Quest 3 yet, and you're, you're considering maybe should I buy a Apple Vision Pro or should I get a Quest 3? I would urge you to get a Quest 3 not just because I have one, because it's a better price and like I said, the software is going to open source. So there's going to be a lot more development for it. Uh, the price 
is a huge selling point as well. Uh, Division West looks fancy, the UI looks fancy, it looks great, it really does. But like I said, especially with apps like this, Vision OS, the apps that are created in there can be mirrored to the Quest 3. So a lot of those features, you'll probably find it will come to the Quest 3. Just want to say a huge thanks for watching guys if you got to this point in the video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind leaving a little comment below. Have you used the Spatial app? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Have you used any other software that's the same that I don't know about? Maybe need to check out. If you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up and please consider dropping a follow. It would help the channel. And we're going to be bringing a lot more VR content out from games, the apps, the hardware. So yeah, guys, I'm going to say thanks. I'm going to see you in the next one. Enjoy.